Hi, welcome and thank you so much for your interest in my course. In this course, I will teach you how to develop a test recognition app using only Java and Android Studio. Which means we are going to use Java to perform machine learning. And at the end of this course, you will have a perfect and accurate test recognition app like this. Now, I want to share with you one important feature of this application. Friends, this application can be used to scan multiple documents. And at the end, you will be able to edit it and as well convert it into Microsoft document. And now, the question is, what exactly are we going to learn in this course? Friends, we are going to learn a lot, such as how to pick image from gallery, open the camera intent and take a photo and as well display those photos using an image view more importantly we will be able to detect the image and extract all the text written on the image friends that is the core purpose of this course so i organized this course based on simplicity which means each and every lecture in this course is attached to its own source code Whenever you are done with your lectures, you can always compare your source code with mine. And with that, you will be able to follow along more easily. And more to it, the complete source code of this course is found in the last lecture. Alright, for some of you who may like to install the application before you get started with the lectures, no problem, you can do just that. Having said all this, quickly, let's jump into it. To proceed, we have to create a new project in Android Studio. So, hit on Start a new Android Studio project. Select Empty Activity. Hit on Next. Specify the name of your project right here. When naming your project, Always use a descriptive name that determines the intention of a project, so you will be able to relate with it more easily. Hit on the finish button. Android Studio is building up. Android Studio is done building, so let's proceed by making the necessary imports. Minimize the Android Studio. Open up the OCR materials. We need the radios. Right click, 
copy. Go back to Android Studio. Hit on rest. Right click on your drawable. Hit on paste. Make sure to select the first directory. Hit on OK. OK it one more time. Awesome. Let's fix this quickly. Open up the values. Hit on colors.xml. Copy this. Paste it twice. Come back right here. Just have to copy this color. Replace it. And the value we need right here is FFF. The error is gone for the white. And we need the color black as well. Ctrl C to copy. Come back here. Replace it. And the value for black is 0. zero, zero. Awesome. Minimize the Android Studio. Right click on font. Copy. Go back to Android Studio. Right click on res. Paste. Hit on OK. So the next in line is to include the necessary libraries. Open up the Grado script. And, um, we need the app level Grado. Scroll down. Minimize the Android Studio. Open up the libraries. Okay, I'm just going to copy from here. Ctrl C, go back to Android Studio, and then Ctrl V. Hit on Sync Now, and make sure your internet connection is turned on. Synced successful. This is the library that would be used to crop out the unwanted portion of the image. And then, this is the Google Vision API that will be used to extract the text written on the image. For the card view, I think you can relate with that, right? So, let's proceed. Close it down. Close it down. Close it down. Open up the activity underscore main.xml. Right here, we will start designing our layout. Stretch it to the left. Get rid of the test view. And also, we don't need a constraint layout. Place some as down here. Hit on your enter key on your keyboard. Highlight. Wipe it off. All we need right here is a relative layout. A relative layout is a view group that displays chart views in relative positions, and the positions of each view can be specified as relative to siblings' elements, such as to the left of, right of, top, or below another view. Teaching good? Smash the like button. Right here, we need a scroll view because we want the application to be scrollable. Scroll view. The layout width is match parent and the layout height is wrap content. Use the closing tag to close it up. Right in this scroll view, we need a linear layout. A linear layout is a view group that aligns all children in a single direction, vertically or horizontally. The layout width is match parent and the layout height is wrap content. Let's set the orientation property to vertical. Orientation, vertical. Use the closing tag to close it up. Right in this linear layout, we need a card view. Card view. Perfect. The layout width is match parent and the layout height is 250 dp. Card background color. 
at color slash color white cut elevation 3dp cut corner radius 3dp compact padding set it to true close it up with the closing tag we also need a linear layout right here linear layout all right so the layout width is much parent the layout height is 250 dp padding it's gonna make it 5 dp close it up with the closing tag scrub we need a test view right here test view the layout width is match parent layout height wrap content the test i'm gonna do display scanned result right here in this linear layout let's set the orientation property to vertical cool and then come down to the test view test size 20 sp font family we will make use of the customized font we imported earlier on in this lecture add font slash font tab test color let's make use of the color primary looking good scrub use the forward slash on your keyboard to close it up right here we need an edit test that will be used to display the test when extracted from the image edit test the layout width is match parent and the layout height is 250 dp background we are going to do add drawable slash radius gravity we are going to set it to the top hint Impute type. Test cap sentences. Test multi line. Pardon. 5TP. Auto link. We are going to make it all. Beautiful. Use the forward slash to close it up. Perfect. Right after this card view, we need another card view. The layout width is wrap content. The layout height is 200 dp. Layout gravity center card background color add color slash white card use compact party set it to true card elevation 3dp card radius 5dp close it up right in this card view we need another linear layout the layout width is match parent and the layout height wrap content. Orientation set it to vertical. Padding 5dp. Close it up. We need a test view right here. Wrap content. Wrap content. Test. display image test size 20 sp you use sp when you want to specify font sizes and you use dp when you want to specify the size of the layout layout gravity center test color let's make use of the color primary beautiful 
font family at font slash font tab. Next, we need an image view to display the image. Image view. The layout width is 200 dp and the layout height is 200 dp. Scrub so you can see it clearly. The test, the max height, just gonna make it 200 dp. Layout gravity, center. Let's specify the ID of this image view. ID, add plus ID slash image display. Squeeze it out. Right click on your drawable. Go to new. Vector asset. Click here. And then we have to search for image. Image. Let's pick this guy. Okay. Let's change the color. Background. Add. Drawable. Slash. Baseline broken image. Close it up. Scroll up to the card view. Let's make it 250 dp. And also, let's specify the margin top. 20 dp. Scroll down. Right after this card view, we are going to have a linear layout. Wrap content, wrap content. Orientation, horizontal. Gravity, center. We need a button right here. Layout width is wrap content and the layout height wrap content. Background, the test, I'm going to do scan image. Font family, add font slash font tab. Test size, 25 SP. Padding, 10 dp. Specify the margin top of this linear layout. Twenty dp. Awesome. Test color. Add color slash black. Close it up and then specify the ID of this button. ID. And I will call the ID scan btn. Scroll up and let's reduce the height of the first edit test. This is it right here. Scroll up. Okay, so I'm just going to make it 200. Beautiful. Run the application to check it out. <laughs> looking good i like it this is all for now for this lecture and in the next lecture we will start the implementation of the code in java so if you want to be part of the next lecture all you have to do is to smash the subscribe button right now hit the notification bell so when we upload the next lecture you will be notified peace out